So here's a quick video showing the new features that were added to the Ringmaster unofficial ZBrush plugin for version 1.3. To start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I have the Ringmaster plugin open and I'm simply going to click Create Ring Base Mesh. Now after this is created, you'll notice that there is a new button called Mandrel Processes and we can quickly come through and open up that. And in here you'll see some options. So you have a thickness slider, an auto Z remesher switch, and a masking to geometry button. So this thickness slider here and this masking to geometry is going to allow you to mask areas on your model and then turn them into geometry at a precise thickness. So if I navigate to my subtool palette here, you'll notice that when you run the Ringmaster plugin, you're going to get a variety of subtools created. And the second subtool in this list is going to be a mandrel subtool. So this mandrel subtool is handy for using the DynaMesh subtract functionality to get the inner thickness of a ring back to its original size. But with this as well, you can use it to generate ring bands from simple masking. So first I just have this selected and I'm going to divide this up really quick by hitting Control and D on my keyboard. I'm going to get up to say something about 138,000 points. Now after I have this done, I'm simply just going to hold Control and draw a mask out on the band like so. And then I'm going to hold Control and draw another mask and then hold Alt to get a negative selection. And I'm just going to come through and do this really quick for some of the ring here. So something like that. I'm going to turn off polyframes so you can see this a little better. Now after you have this mask generated, you can just come back to the Ringmaster plugin here and you can set your desired thickness. So we're going to set this to say 2 millimeters, and then I'm going to click Masking to Geometry. Now when you click this Mask to Geometry, it's going to look at your model and it's going to generate a new ring band for you from that mandrel at that precise thickness. So here we have that Part of that ring there just generated quickly out of that simple masking and it adds at that two millimeter thickness. So if I can compare the thickness to the ring that was at four millimeters, you're going to see it's exactly half of the dimension there. And then if we want to test the size of the ring again, we just come over here and we'll just mask this area out. And we're going to set this to four millimeters and then do masking to geometry. And you're going to see it's exactly at four millimeters and it's matching the original ring band that we created from the Ringmaster plugin. So using masking on this mandrel here will allow you to create really intricate ring shapes extremely fast and at a precise thickness. Now in addition to just generating by masking, you have the ability to auto Z remesh this as well. So if I look at my ring here, this is without the auto Z remesher turned on, you're going to get topology on the outer edges based around that mandrel topology. So since the mandrel topology is all pretty much square all the way through, you're going to get pretty square geometry. But the sides are going to have less resolution. So you can see right through here, this is just one single polygon row that's going all around the band. So if you want to come through and sculpt on this, you're not going to get very clean sculpting on this unless you turn it into a DynaMesh at this point. But if I come over here and say turn this to the auto Z remesher, and then we're going to go back to my mandrel here and just bring back that mask. And now with auto Z remesher on, change my thickness back to two and click masking to geometry, it's going to generate the geometry for that new ring band there. And then it's also going to Z remesh the model. Now with this active, it's going to be a little bit slower. But when you're finished, you're going to end up with topology distributed by the Z remesher option. And these all contain polygroups as well, so you can select all this stuff. But with the Z remesher option, you're going to end up with geometry that's a little bit more even across the surface there, allowing to sculpt on the mesh a little bit easier. So that's what this auto Z remesher button is here. So that's the basic breakdown for this update. So now you have the ability to come through and apply masking on your model like so and then simply set a thickness, click Masking to Geometry, and it's going to generate geometry at that precise thickness around that mandrel band. So finally, if you have already purchased the Ringmaster plugin, this update will be free, and there is a download link in the description. So I hope that helps.